welcome back dear friends uh, in our last class we have just created this project till here you can see after clicking on this image you can get this image title with this closing button here so let's just work on this we have some more let's just see the css we have just set it the outer setting here and after that ptech i want to open one more div here div and this time we have a class of inner so what is inner let's just discuss this when you are clicking on this image so this image will open in a big size you can see so we are going to set this big size image inside the inner div so this is very simple it's the inner and i can just select the inner control c and control s go to your css dot inner you can set the padding for this to something like 10 pixel of padding you can save and refresh so you can see now we have some padding around this and here not around this uh, we can set the padding here yes you can see around this we have some padding and inside html and inside this inner div I can set here the image source and you can say images then image one dot jpg and a new width new width is equal to something like maybe 1000 and the new height can be something like maybe just 500 now you can save this come here and refresh click on the first image and you can see that we can let's just zoom out and i can just close this image by clicking on here 125 110 pixel so you can see we have just the big size image and we have the shadow around this then we have just a white background that we have set it inside this outer here the background white the box shadow and the margin from the top you can see we have only 10 pixel margin from the top but from the left we can just decrease the margin uh, it is 175 i can just put this to 135 pixel and you can save again we have some extra margin here let's just put this to 150 and save and i think let's just put this on 110 pixel and you can save now I think we have the equal space from the right and from the left and if you focus here we have this uh, title in the center and the text color is red and the font size is just I think increased so go to your HTML for the title we have the title class you can copy this and you can just set this here dot title the text color should be red and the font size can be 25 pixel and the text align can be center now you can save you can save go to your web page and you can see we have this in the center and we have this image also not image the closing tag so go to your html let's do some more setting after this image i can copy this anchor tag from here and you can just paste this here one time and two time this one is the class of you can say next and this one is the class of prep here also the text should be next and the pref now you can save and refresh so you can see we have next and pref button here so i want to just move this next on the right side with this one so this is very easy and one more thing here uh, we have this anchor tag here inside this one so i can just cut this and paste after the p tag 
we can save and refresh so you can see we have this here but we have uh, extra space here let's just go to CSS inside the outer we have margin 10 pixel from the top you can save and refresh so no changes you can paste this what is this control Z you can set margin from the top 10 px and I think we have set here font size here 25 the pairing let's just cut this control X and save and refresh so I think for this image uh, we have white space on the top so no problem we can just do the setting go to your HTML and we have just a light box I'm going to select the light box inside light box we have this anchor tag here so let's just do some setting for this dot light box then we have anchor tag you can see the text color for this should be in gray and the font dash size should be something uh, like 25 pixel and the text dash decoration I want to remove the underline should be none now you can save and refresh now you can see we have just a bigger size in gray color and without our underline now this time I want to move the next and this one to the right side so let's just use this you can say inside your HTML first we have uh, this this cross button I can just select then you have next button and here I can just set dot cross then you have a comma dot next you can say float right and some pairing from the right side maybe something like 8 pixel of pairing you can save and refresh and now you can see we have just this image here and I think we have some extra space inside CSS I can remove this by using this steric sign and set the margin to 0 pixel and the pairing to 0 pixel now you can save and a refresh so you can see for right now we don't have any extra space but you can just uh, decrease the margin top because we don't need margin to the top inside the uh, light box we have 10 pixel so I can just put this to 5 pixel and inside the outer also I think we have 10 pixels so I can just put this to 5 pixel now you can save and refresh so we can we have just decreased this uh, margin and in the next step what we can do here uh, you can just uh, let's just use another image instead of this so I can use here image number uh, two let's save this and refresh so we have the same problem we have a lot of space here so let's check this and save go to your web page and once again and we have the space is still here so let's see what we can do here go to your CSS lightbox outer so we have five pixel a margin from the top and we have just uh, pairing you can just put this also to five pixel and there is nothing else you can save go to your web page and refresh and you can see we have just decrease the pairing I can just put this to 10 pixel back or you can save 15 pixel of pairing save and refresh 
and we have the problem here so let's see go to your html let's just put this inside this ptick save and save refresh and now i think the problem is solved because we have used 15 pixel of pairing here and i think for this video it's enough next video we will come back and we will continue the video to complete this project so till next video have a nice time and see you